Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's Maggie, if you're new to my channel, what is up? We have another weekend in my life. You guys know how much I love my weekends. I'm setting you guys up back on one of my water bottles because I need to put chapstick on. I've realized that I just like can't talk unless I have something on my lips. Can anybody else relate to that? Like I always need to have my lips be moisturized or else I feel like I can't like speak because my mouth my mouth feels dry. Um, I've been loving this lip balm. It's by the brand KNC Beauty. It's a black owned beauty brand. This is what it looks like, super cute. It's like the rose one. I have the rose, the mint, and the lip scrub. They're amazing, I'll link them for you guys. But just want to start off a new vlog. I wanna show you guys my outfit because it's so cute. I showed it in my last vlog because I ended it off when I was wearing <laughs> this dress and I've been getting so many questions about it because I put it on my Instagram story. But it's from Zara. Super cute, I just have these sunglasses on too from Lexola and my little um, Velcro sneakers from Acne. Also, I wanted to show you guys these shorts that I just got from my girl, Allie Grace. Shop Allie Grace on Instagram, I talk about her all the time, but it is where I get all of my custom Levi's and the only jeans and shorts I wear are from her she's been customizing jeans and shorts for me well all denim for um, ever like ever since she opened up her company and started her brand she's been making them for me and she's from massachusetts she's local but she lives on the west coast now so she ships them to me she's so amazing and i'm so happy for all of her success she's been doing so well and there's really nothing better than getting like a pair of jeans and a pair of shorts that actually fit you because everybody's body is different and that's something that i cannot stress enough and going into a store and having to try on like jeans and shorts when everyone's body truly is so different i feel like they don't really think when making denim um and i can never find any that fit me and yeah so basically what you do is you can like send her your measurements and then she customizes a pair to fit your body type so i think that that's so amazing and if you struggle with finding a good pair of jeans or denim shorts like I do and you just don't feel comfortable in any that's that was me like I just never felt like comfortable or confident in any denim shorts because they didn't fit me right they were like too tight too short too loose on my waist and it was just a mess so she's been customizing them for me I want to show you what they look like on because you can pick like your wash you can pick um, the distressing that you want all that stuff you customize them however you want so I'm gonna show you guys the pair that I got they're so cute and they fit so amazing like i'm freaking out i didn't think my day could get any better than it is right now i'm having such a good day so far and when i got this package in the mail i was like oh my god okay these are the shorts i'm gonna set you guys up ignore ignore the dress but this is the waist they're kind of like a medium wash and we have the frayed edges and then i'm obsessed with the little butt rip so cute and they fit so well. Oh, I can't wait to wear them. And also she sent over a little Allie Grace mask which matches perfectly to my dress. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this today. So cute. Just dropped off Emma. She's getting laser hair removal and I'm taking her car and gonna go run errands. I feel like a mom like dropping her kid off. I was like, okay, honey, bye. Like call me when you're done. And she just went in there. I'm excited because I'm getting laser next week and she's getting she's starting this week i'm getting it next week and i'm really excited about that because i've been wanting it for so long i just didn't really know where to go and i finally found a place that i'm going to and i'm really excited my favorite water right now which I'm going to keep in the fridge for tomorrow just because I want to let everything soak so I washed some organic mint leaves and put that in the water I just am using a big mason jar cut up two large chunks of ginger and then I peeled and cut 
a lemon. So I'm just gonna throw this in. Instead of juicing the lemon, I'm gonna throw it in like this in these little like pentagons to let it soak like I said and then screw the cap on give it a nice little shake then you are done just throw it in the fridge and I like to have mine chilled in the morning I think it's super refreshing and I'm going to show you guys actually these little covers I got on Amazon so it's like a little bamboo cover with a silicone grip so you can just take off the metal part stick this in and then use like a reusable straw and put it right there in the top i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup for dinner i didn't really vlog earlier when i was running errands because it was honestly a fail and i went to best buy to try and get a like air purifier for my apartment and also i want to look into getting a new camera so they didn't have anything i was looking for so then i just left and waited for emma to get done with laser. Um, but anyway, getting ready to go to dinner right now. Ow! And I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup, show you guys makeup, outfits, stuff like that. Makeup is done. This is the makeup that I usually do whenever I go out. It's super simple. It takes literally less than 10 minutes. I've done an everyday makeup routine video. I will link it for you guys so you can check it out. And also I will link the products that I used. It's just very basic and minimal. Um, still really natural and I really love it. Outfit of the night. I'm just wearing this little tank from Aritzia. I was wearing like a more blousey type tank top that had like the same structure but um, it was kind of uncomfortable and my boobs like didn't fill it out so it looked really awkward on me and I changed into this one which is like more casual anyway and I'm just wearing my custom Levi's these are also shop Ally Grace these I've had for such a long time they're really distressed and then my shoes are from Revolve they're really cute just like some nude mules nude mules and they have like a net detailing on them super cute Hi guys, good morning. I just got back from getting coffee and walking around the seaport with my brother and Emma. And I got, which I'm literally leaning on right now, I got a new box of La Cologne cold brew. This is my favorite coffee. It is the Brazilian cold brew. So I got one of the boxes that have, I'll show you guys if I can like get this thing open. Remember last time I got it, it was like so hard for me to figure out. Okay, yeah, so it has like a little spout that you just press like the red button and coffee comes out and you just put it in your fridge and you have chilled cold brew. So I'm obsessed with this. I've been drinking the water that I made yesterday and it's so good. I need to go to the store and get more mint. I honestly want to get like a mint plant and have it in my apartment like by the window because i got this little basil plant right here and i need to go to the store and get a pot for it to go in because last time i didn't have a pot and it wasn't growing as big as it could have but i get so much like natural light in my kitchen area so i just feel like it'd be cool to have like a few different types of like fresh herbs even if i kept it like on the counter right here i don't know i just think that that'd be kind of fun and yeah so nothing 
is really going on right now i kind of like feel weird and like out of it and i'm just like having one of those days where i am not like in the mood to do anything i kind of feel like tired and just like overwhelmed and like anxious not even about anything at all that's the thing like i'm i have nothing to be stressed about and it's like a gorgeous day i just i'm like really not feeling it so i've been like doing laundry and stuff to try to make me feel better i might like put on some music and clean my apartment a little just because cleaning is so therapeutic to me and i'm gonna like swiffer the floors and vacuum and stuff um, just because I know that when my apartment is like fresh and clean I can like light a candle it makes me feel a lot better So I'm probably gonna do that. I got a new perfume When I was out Because last night at dinner Natalie was wearing this perfume and it smelled like the one hotel and it just brought back so many Like memories because that's my favorite hotel to stay at and it has like this distinctive smell that it's just so good you can't even describe it so i got the perfume she was wearing from sephora it's called mason lewis marie number four mason lewis marie um i'm not even gonna try to say it but comes in this really cute little bottle so i'm gonna add this to my perfume collection because i've been so into different perfumes and i just think it's so fun to like change up your scent and so I have all of my full-size perfumes right here on this tray. And then in this drawer, in my jewelry box, which I actually get a lot of questions about. It's from West Elm, so I'll link it for you guys. It's absolutely huge. It has so much space. Like, the top opens up, and it's very spacious. There's another drawer right here. And then I keep all of my travel size perfumes here at the bottom. Um, except for this one. This one's almost empty, but these are all my travel size that I can just like throw in my bag if I'm Going out and like want to bring it with me. Um, so yeah I'm in the process of doing my sheets for my bed and Probably just gonna finish cleaning and like do a bunch of other laundry. Nothing too exciting going on over here <laughs> I'm running errands right now. I literally just watched that guy that's pulling away in that truck leave his cart right there. And I pulled in this parking lot at Home Goods, and there's just carts everywhere. And it makes me so mad. I literally think now he's staring at me, so I'm getting awkward. But I think that that's literally the rudest thing in the whole world. Like, you can't walk to one of the multiple areas where you can put away your cart, like 10 feet away from your car. <laughs> oh. Good morning you guys it is sunday morning i just did my morning meditation my journaling and i'm all comfy and cozy <laughs> and i'm ready to start the day i got up this morning at seven i went to bed last night at 11 so i got like eight hours of sleep i feel very rested i'm ready for the day and i just love getting up early i've been so into it for the past few months because i feel like i just have so much more time during my days and i can wake up and be relaxed and get so much more done in the morning and like for myself um i like to do like my meditation i like to do my journaling have like a slow morning and drink coffee make breakfast so i don't like to be rushed and i used to wake up and have a million things to do right off the bat and i'd be so rushed and it just wasn't a good way to start the day so i've been having such slow mornings and it feels so good to be up early on a sunday we have a lot to do today i'm really excited so i'm gonna go get ready skincare get dressed all of that but i just want to say good morning also, these are my favorite sets you guys have probably been seeing me wear in my vlogs. They're from Heavy Manners. Literally the most comfortable sweatsuits I've ever put on my body. Such good quality. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited you guys um, I just picked up 
my new camera, which I'm so excited about. I've been literally thinking about this camera for like a month and I finally got it. I'm so excited because I just feel like for my sit down videos and like different videos I want to film and even vlogging, I just wanted to have like a really good quality camera and not to say that my camera right now isn't good but I just feel like having like such a small camera it makes the quality like not the best that it can be this one is 4k and it just has like a larger um like picture and stuff the guy at the store was like explaining everything to me which I've seen like videos be filmed with this camera before and I just like am obsessed with the quality this girl I watch on YouTube has the same camera like one of the versions of this camera and I just love the way that her vlogs look so I was like I want to get that camera also so I did and okay I guess this is the battery oh and also the girl whose video I watch whose videos I watch her name is Lauren Geraldo you guys probably know who she is she has a lot of subscribers but I'm obsessed with her vlogs I found her from her home tour video and I was like oh my god I love her house she just moved from LA to Arizona and I'm obsessed like with her videos now and I just love the quality of her vlogs and she has this camera and I saw one time she had posted on her Instagram story that she was vlogging she took a picture of her camera so I was like I need to get that camera because it's so good so I've been eyeing it for a while oh my god it comes with like a strap this reminds me of when I was younger my mom used to have her Canon and like take photos of my brother, sister, and I, and she would literally bring it everywhere with her. Okay, so we have the lens. I'm gonna open all this stuff up and then show you guys the quality of the camera. Like once I set it up. <laughs> so I just got the camera all set up and everything. So this is it, I love it. And I went to go turn it on and the battery's dead. So we're just gonna have to wait till I get home and I can charge it and then we can test it out and see. My videos are about to be like on a whole nother level. I'm really excited. I like can't lose <laughs> the lens cap. That's like one thing that I like can't, I need to make sure I don't lose at all times. Oh, and I also got, a little tripod too so it'll be easier to use than like I have this tripod right now and it has not that it matters to you guys um, at all but it has like it's like a gorilla tripod and the legs like bend and move different ways and I just like I, I don't really I don't know it gets really annoying so I got one that doesn't move which is nice um, now on the list I have like a little list of things that I need to do today. Next, we are going to. Okay, I need to get groceries. So I guess I can just go pick up. Well, actually, I should probably pick up groceries last because I don't want them sitting in the car. Picked up my camera. Um, I need to find a Michaels. <laughs> you guys will see why when I get home. I just got home and I was organizing the fridge. I bought more of the acrylic containers so I could organize the fridge better because since Tyler moved in, we have so much more food now in the fridge and I just wanted to be able to keep everything organized so I picked up a few more. And as you guys can see, we just have like some fruit, some of his stuff for like sandwiches um, and then like some herbs and things. And yeah, so basically what I was doing was I was taking off all of those little annoying stickers off of the containers and I did this which is why I had to go to Michael's I got this wooden piece yesterday at home goods and it was like $30 and they always have stuff like this at restoration hardware like this is kind of like their look to put in the middle of a coffee table but the pieces that they have are like $300 and more so I decided to DIY and make one myself. I went to Michael's, I bought three packs of moss and I literally just filled it and it looks so good. So I'm gonna move this and put it in the middle of my coffee table. 
but I'm so happy with the way that it came out. And I want to show you guys also, I got a pot for my plant, which I don't know where I'm going to put this tree yet. It's a olive leaf tree. And I got this pot at Home Goods yesterday. And I love the look of it. It's like gray concrete. I just think that it looks really good with the tree. And it also ties together really well with my bedroom. So I just need to figure out where I'm going to put it. I honestly tried to put it over there in that corner. But I don't know what to do with that mirror. <sighs> and then I need to organize this area better. I just want to like clean off the surface and get like all this stuff put in different places like I just don't really know what to do with this area and then I'm thinking of getting another piece of art to go right here Marcus said that he would paint me something new so it's gonna cover up like the little switch it thingy you know what those are called I have no idea I'm drawing a blank right now but it's gonna cover up these okay, so a little coffee table update I put this stack of books right down here so we have like the green orange and blue books on the bottom and then I kept the neutral books on top and just put these coasters that I think I got from like Crate and Barrel and they're just like stone I think this looks so good have my little candle I just like how simple this area is and I like adding like some fresh greenery I feel like it makes it a lot more homey just got ready to go to dinner with Emma. We're just going to a casual dinner tonight <laughs> on this Sunday evening. And I just wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick. I have on this bodysuit from Princess Polly that I showed in my last Princess Polly haul. But it's so cute. It's like a mesh turtleneck bodysuit, like nude colored. And I'm wearing a Skims bodysuit underneath. And then I have on these a Goldie... 90s jeans which I don't know if I love with this outfit just because they're a little bit big on my waist but they'll have to do and then the same heels that I wore out to dinner on Friday we just got done with dinner I thought that we lost my car in the parking garage that we're in right now but we didn't rest assured. We had amazing sushi, truffle fries. I had some wine. It was so nice and chill. And now my favorite part is that Emma gets to drive home. Where's the exit? Yes. Who's excited for the Drake album? I am. Oh, I Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guys I'm vlogging on my new camera like I can't even tell if there's a difference because um, the lighting is kind of weird because it's obviously like dark in my apartment this thing is so big I just wanted to end off the vlog and show you guys this is so funny like look how huge it is also the quality is really good because you can see every individual dust particle on my mirror. Um, ew. So please ignore. I, I swear I will wash that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to end off the vlog with my new camera to show you guys. And also, I wanted to show you what I did over here. Because I was talking about that tree in my bedroom earlier. Also, don't mind my skims drying. <laughs> I just did a ton of laundry. But anyway, I put the olive tree over here in the corner. Which I think actually looks really good. And I think it just adds so much like life to the dining area. So, as you guys can see, I feel like it really just like ties everything together and it makes Marcus's paintings look so good. And then over in this corner, I have my big palm tree. So, yeah, apartment tour coming really soon for you guys because I feel like I've been working on my apartment for such a long time and it's finally coming together. 
and it looks so good and it's so homey and I just love it. So um, I just need to figure out like honestly when I'm filming an apartment tour and I've been trying to find a piece of furniture to go in this area, but I just want to make sure that it's like the perfect piece because I don't have a lot of space to utilize in that area. It's kind of like an awkward length. All the tables I like are either like too long and then to get one that fits exactly in that area, it's like a little bit too short. Not too short. And then I have also been looking at tables that like fit perfectly in that space and I just feel like it's either they're too long or they're the perfect size, but they're like not the type of table that I want, if that makes sense. So I don't know. It's been a process, but I have one in mind that I might get and then I can fill it in that space and then put all the decorations that I've gotten from Home Goods in that area and I want to put like a big circle mirror. I want to move that mirror because I feel like it looks super awkward there and I just don't love how it's like backlit when I look in the mirror and when I like take video and stuff, I just feel like the light is coming in from the back and it like lights it up a weird way. So I just want to move that mirror. But anyway, um, besides the fact, <laughs> apartment tour is coming soon. Also, I'm going to end off this vlog, ending it off with my new camera. You guys, you can probably see everything on my face right now. Sorry if I keep looking over here, the viewfinder is like off to the side. I'm just like so not used to this. But I guess it'd be easier if I vlog on this camera because then it forces me if I'm not using the viewfinder to like look directly in the camera. But I bet you guys can see like all <laughs> everything on my face because the quality it was kind of humid when we were sitting outside tonight at dinner. So my face is like a little bit shiny. Um, but anyway, I am going to go to bed. Get ready for bed. It is nine. Hopefully. Hold on. I'll tell you guys what time it is. Thank God. I thought it was 9.50 and I was like, it's kind of late. It's like almost 10 o'clock. It's 9.20. So I'm going to take my makeup off, head to bed. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, seeing a little weekend in my life. Subscribe down below if you're not already. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's always linked for you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.